Hey again, YouTubers. This is the companion video to the original getting out of my ramp van if I am unable to via the ramp on that side. So in this video, I'm going to show how I get into my van if I am unable to use the ramp on that side. And again, I have had to do this before. This isn't just something I'm demonstrating for, for kicks. Uh, this is actually a useful skill for me. Again, you might not be able to do this. Maybe you will. It depends on the size of your wheelchair. Is it electric? Is it manual? Uh, upper body strength? A lot of different factors. Uh, but this video is basically just to give an idea of maybe there's something you haven't thought of that you could do if you are in a situation such as this. So, here we go. First step, of course, is getting into the van myself. Then, it's basically the reverse of what I did in the last video. I'm going to get this, the front casters, up onto the van. Then, I'm going to move myself back so that I can get enough leverage to pull this in. This is a bit tougher than getting the wheelchair out because I'm pulling instead of letting it down. But it, hopefully I'll be able to do it on the first try. And there we go. I, I was able to do it. So now I sit in my chair because unlike the um, first video, when I transferred from the driver's seat directly to the floor, and I probably could have gone from the driver's seat to my chair and then to the floor. It was just quicker to go directly to the floor. But for going from the floor to the driver's seat, um, it's difficult, very difficult even for me, so I don't do that just out of safety. So I'm gonna close this door now. Transfer into the driver's seat. Okay, now if you noticed, I put the armrest down when I transferred in. That's because it makes it just a little bit easier for me to transfer in. When I'm driving, I keep the armrest up because otherwise it uh, impedes my ability to steer. One last thing I would like to mention in this video is that, of course, this will not work if you have a seat still in the back of your van. Both of the back, the middle seats, I mean, both of the middle seats in my van have been taken out, so I am able to do this. I'm able to get in and out on that side if I need to, if someone's parked over there. But there's also another reason that someone might need to get in and out there, and that is sometimes with electronics, they stop working. There have been times when I, I didn't say, I pushed the button for my ramp to go down or up and the ramp said you know what today i'm not going to do it and when that happens i have to do it this way otherwise i'm stuck there and i would have to call someone to pick me up or call um triple a or something i don't really know i've never actually um had to been in that situation where i had to call one and that's simply because i am able to use that door when need be now i would much rather use that door this is absolutely only for emergencies, and, and I really would not do it if I didn't have to. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time, and don't forget to subscribe.